Hello everyone and welcome to another Torchlight Infinite video. Today bringing the update for... Uh, I kind of skipped day two, but... Um, but I will still consider this day two because this video is rather early in the morning. So I just started playing, I finished. A bunch of farming yesterday. Uh, a lot of time testing mechanics, testing stuff. Um, and... I'll just do a quick dummy showcase. Minions need to get low life to ramp up the damage a little bit. Oh, I forgot I need to I need to activate the the offensive mechanic. That's one of the problems I'm gonna talk about right now in the current version of the game so let me quickly go over what's going on as you can see the command is hovering close to 100 how am i doing that well there is this item so this item has been in the game in the game for a while um, it's always always been uh, in my opinion overlooked uh, but it's because the command mechanic wasn't very enticing to play around at least for the calling i don't know what the metaphor charge spelling is but i i haven't seen many builds using it so what this does is you activate a defensive skill that reduces the command return speed um you may know command has this mechanic where the more you have the faster it wants to go down the point where uh, it's exponential the amount you need to get to. Sorry. It's exponential the amount you need to get to be able to, to keep it um, higher. So once you reach 100, I haven't done the calculation of, of how much you need, but it's pretty much uh, it's a lot of investment to the point where it doesn't, it's not worth it because you have to give up on other things to, to keep it. So in comes the shield. You use a defensive skill, whatever defensive skill. I like, um, I like the late pain because I think just being able to take 25% uh, of your damage and stagger it so that your region can kick in. I'm, I'm using region as well um, with the frost spirit. I have uh, 695 region. So, huh. I thought I had more than that. I wonder if does duo makes the does something for that, or is it just that I have less life now? That's the same. Okay. Okay, I have six hundred ninety-five uh, life region. I'm using the precise rejuve, and I'm using the frost spirit that now gives a uh, life region instead of mana region, which is much better. Because I think having Having a mana aura that pretty much nobody used anyway, and no, everyone used the mana aura, but nobody used this for the mana region. Um, so they only used it for damage. And uh, why would you use a mana region spirit when you could use a crit spirit or a, or an attack speed spirit? So this was underused for that reason, but now it's it's very good. So you use a uh, defensive skill. And when you have that, all the command that you're getting, basically you can treat this as tripling your command gains to the point where, you see, while, while I have the, the defensive going on, I'm getting to the high 70s, high 80s. Which means, uh, for the spider tanks, I don't need to use like multiple projectiles, because when you reach 50 commands, they get plus 2 projectiles and they have pierce at 30. So I have Pierce and I have plus two. Those are two links that I can use for damage. In this case, uh, I'm doing this setup with multi-strike, crit damage, slow approach, recklessness, and servant speed. This has yielded me the best results. So I'm, I'm actually going to go uh, in order. First of all, uh, skills. So Spider Tank. Uh, we're using Dazzle Bloom uh, because I have the Relic. Using Blink, using Delayed Pain, 
a defensive layer because I have a little bit of energy shield. So you know, having having this uh, be uh, allow the energy shield to to trickle down a little bit while I have it up. It's it's pretty good. Uh, this gives me armor and this gives me evasion. I have both at the moment. Not very high on any of them, but it's it's good anyway. And I think this support is really really strong, increasing the amount of uh, um of elemental damage that armor mitigates is very good. And using vulnerability with duration and abysmal hatred and manually casting this. Precise rejuve with uh, the aura amplification. This support just increases the aura effect. It doesn't increase the reservation. It doesn't have a mana multiplier. So it's it's amazing. It's very good. Uh, same thing, every aura I have, I have aura amplification, and this goes selfless for precise projectiles to increase the effect on, on the minions. Uh, Frost Spirit with Mark. Mark is a very strong multiplier, 40% increased crit damage taken. Uh, protection field for more, uh, a little bit more tankiness. And blinding, same reason. And weapon amp, because we're, we're going pure fizz now. So uh, doing weapon amp alongside selfless and discipline to reduce the reservation a little bit. Because I think precise proch is a lit. I mean, they have the same multiplier, but this gives proch speed as well. So that's why I value precise proch higher than uh, weapon amp. And I bought this candle, which it might be bugged. Because I'm going to take this off. And you tell me if you think this is bugged, or maybe I don't have. I am overestimating how much crit rating I have, but. It seems to me like getting a hundred and seventy crit multiplier, a hundred and forty crit multiplier, should be more impactful than than this. The damage is almost the same, so I think that candle is bugged badly. I don't think it's working. So there's that. Uh, it wasn't expensive, but it's very sad because. Uh, it kind of it kind it kind of seems like <laughs> we cannot we cannot get everything anything in this in this season with moto okay um this thing hero trait in relic i'm going with uh this for increased attack speed so every time a minion attacks i don't know if this interval is based on every single minion or all the minions but anyway, this is 23% attack speed, noticeable, and this allows Dazzling Bloom to work on troops, and I get it in power skill effect. Dazzling Bloom is very, it's very good. I think probably Machine Army is still similar to Machine Army, in my opinion, but it has way less of a cooldown. And so we, since we don't have the cooldown support anymore, I'd rather have this with higher uptime than machine army with more damage but with way less uptime um i'm using this supported by the masses this added physical damage per command if we're hovering around 80 command that is so this is on average 16 plus 22 divided by 2 times 8 that is like 152 added physical damage if you take a look at the added physical damage supports is like a little bit higher than the lower range so it's a decent amount of of damage of base damage because uh what you will notice right now in moto is that we have a lot of like more damage multipliers uh, most of them within overload itself but i think what they did with damage multipliers is that uh, since this is a single damage multiplier bucket we need to add either different damage multipliers or add base damage that's why i'm going with this i'm i still need to try uh, different combinations but this one has been working for me thus far um this one gains one command every for every synthetic troop that is within 10 meters and is double for minions that are closer this is noticeable without this i cannot get close to 80 or, or 100 command and this uh crit rating which Again, I don't know if this is working. Uh, there's a lot of bugs. So, uh, and using uh, the last stand one, 
getting getting the other one will be a big upgrade because this is nerfing our build minus 24 percent damage this gives us 80 percent but yeah we're losing 24 so uh I'm, I'm gonna farm for this in the next few days or or buy it or whatever so uh pretty standard setup overload effect which this got, got nerfed it used to be 160 but it's 120 it's it's whatever but uh it gives a uh, crit rating it's important we, we scale out of crit this is always there and uh, the percent chance to grant minions overload when they deal double damage so you want to max out double damage chance uh at the i'm currently have like 66 percent chance to deal double damage so that is enough for my minions to always have overload all of them and uh this increases the duration which is not important but we get uh, additional damage multiplier uh i think go for broke might be could be better but there is a problem with uh, the spirits which i don't know if it's a bug i'm gonna i'm gonna try to to get that answer in the cross corner so when the spirits get to low life um they don't just stay on low life the problem they go into reconjuring and this doesn't happen with the dummy but when you're in a map they enter reconjuring and from that point on since this doesn't allow the minions to regen uh or it it, it degens them constantly then they just uh they they stay, stay in reconjuring forever and you could say well don't use uh frost spirits um there is nothing else we could use for damage uh because we're pure fists so it's weapon amp fearless uh fearless doesn't work for projectile uh for for ranged so it's precise proch uh cuteness doesn't affect the minions because you would use this if you were dealing damage yourself and uh I mean, and and the damage is not at the point. And uh, this erosion enhancement used to give like damage applied to life, so you could use this, but this is no longer here. So there's there's nothing else we could use for damage. And uh, there's no attack speed aura for some reason because they they got rid of attack speed everywhere. So we we're we're stuck with the spirits. That's why I'm going I'm going with this instead of uh, go for broke. Now let's go over passives. I don't think I shown the passives last time around. Standard again, uh, get crit rating and crit damage in every single tree that you have it available for the minions. Get cooldown reduction. Um, I'm doing this for region speed. Getting some command generation here. Getting plus minion level. Orders for more damage. Ice storm is better than mighty god. Ideally, you get you get a slate with mighty guard or. Uh, the slate I'll probably go for is this one, Open Wounds, which is 125% uh, crit multi. It seems pretty pretty good to me for a first slate. But otherwise, um, otherwise you go for Ice Arms. In Machinis, this is what we're going with. Getting Command, Command, Armor. I want Armor and LE Res here because... Happy LRS is a nightmare now, by the way. I'm not worrying about the minion LRS because they're, they're in there, they cannot die. Uh, again, life and life region, armor pen, um, aura effect for minions, and uh, plus level. And chance to do double damage, of course. We're going with uh, boss for the plus one. And we're going for kinetic conversion, arguably. This is very good for the chance to do double damage, but once you have enough gear and you can cap that without boss, you would go into broken shell 100%. Very good for defense. And uh, we're going Blade Runner. Uh, reason being is, let me show you the difference in damage when I'm moving this, this note. Because they get rid of, of every single source of minion attack and cast speed. Uh, that's that's no longer in the game anywhere. <laughs> At least in the in the overload effect and stuff. That's average damage while standing still. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start moving. 
See the attack speed. It's very noticeable. Do. Look at the look at the animation. They are not even attacking anymore. Right? So it's 35% attack speed while you're standing still. It's massive. Uh it's the biggest source of attack speed that we can get. Um anywhere it seems. <clears throat> and uh multi strike quick advancement, multi strike the deal more damage. We grab the multi strike points. Since we're doing pure fist, we're ignoring everything here relating to lightning or shock. And just grabbing uh minion attack speed, minion crits, grabbing life. This is good. So, uh, max life for you, landing resistance for you. Uh, approach speed is also an option. Getting the movement speed because I like to go fast. And I'm getting, that's why I'm getting agility blessings too, because it gives you uh, movement speed too. And uh, even though this is wasted, but uh, I like getting this. It's 6% uh, movement speed per, per agility blessing. So that's 24% movement speed. It's almost like having another boot. So uh, it's, it's very good. To do is use this four times and then look at the movement speed now noticeable so that's the tree <clears throat> the slates i i just yesterday um came up with uh with with these um <clears throat> a lot of these are just passable not not great but i've gotten lucky look at this one for instance a plus two that's a very lucky find um this one is a plus one. All of those, all of these are, I've, I found myself. I, I haven't bought any of them. Um, this one I dropped yesterday and it got a plus one as well. Uh, command, steal mana, and whatever. Just get, just focus on getting plus ones, getting minion attack and cast speed, getting minion crit and crit multi. Very important. And a uh, command as well per second. Now let's go over gear. I'm still wearing this. <clears throat> this is for Fiend Crown. If you have a Fiend Crown, you will use that for, for sure. Endless Fortress because we're going in a low life. I got a perfect one, rough or rather cheap. I just needed the plus one. But if you get the plus two, that is also very good when you want to switch off boss. Uh, of the boss note in the, in the passives. And Arcane makes it so I can reserve 100% of my mana. And I will have no problem. That's why you can see I've, I've I only have four, 14 man left and, and if I could trickle down more reservation I would do it um I just don't have the energy because for some reason energy cores are not dropping anymore or I don't know I dropped this I was I was basically spamming uh so I've been coming to this guy buying these beacons steel forge tier 7 and farming t2s t72s for uh, only this region, this is where you can drop the, the breast pin. Uh, you drop an additional, this item is valuable if you get a good roll on it. And this is very valuable as well, the, the fervor heart and uh, vortex heart. So all of these items, uh, this is like 10 FE. So uh, almost everything that you can get from this guy is good, except for the sky devourer and uh, the chaotic ending, because it's it has too much variance. But most importantly, it's getting the breast pins. Because you want to get a lot of them to start corroding them. You want to get things like... If you come here, you can see the interesting things that, it, that, that you can get. This one, I wouldn't normally corrode. I would only double corrode. But with Arrogance, you can get um, up to plus 7 passives. You can get up to 75 million damage. But most importantly, you can turn this into cannot deal physical damage. Which opens a whole uh, possibility of what you can do which means we can go into uh elemental conversion we can go into erosion conversion as well so that's why you want to get the breast pin you want to get a bunch of them and double corrode them this one this is i don't know this is the luckiest drop i've ever had in this game probably like perfect damage perfect life perfect passive level and uh middling roll on crit rating and crit damage so it makes it so uh Every 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 one of these passive nodes that gives a uh, crit rating, this is you can consider this to be minion crit rating now, and this you, this is minion crit damage as well. So that this amulet is very good, very good for damage. 
Um, I'm using the set gloves, not that it matches at this moment, because um, overload duration is, is not something I particularly care at, at this moment. I'm just using them because they are decent. And rolling gear for resistances is kind of a nightmare. Just I, I now have more, more flame sand, but this can go down very quick trying to roll uh, a gear with uh, three good resistances. And this gives minion crit rating, so I think this is a very solid pair of uh, gear piece. This gives command per second. Uh, Winter Origin comes here. Uh, still uncontested. Uh, nothing. It's a shame that they release like the uh, the Spellburst item, and it's a belt. Like they should have made that probably. I don't know a ring or gloves. Like their uh, gloves are not very competitive for order calling. But the belt, like Winter of Origin, is uncontested. You cannot. It's it's too much damage. Uh, this ring again. This is this is this is bad. But uh, the crit damage also applies to the minions. Getting a horn ring with crit damage uh, with less damage taken. You want to get this to be at least zero. You don't want additional damage taken because right now we're taking a lot of damage. This was a failure in the, in dream crafting. Yes, I got a little bit of 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 crit damage and crit rating, but I downgraded my minion damage, which was like 120. It's still probably an upgrade. I don't know, but I didn't really get anything for it outside of downgrading this. So um, there's that. It's a plus four one, so it's decent enough. Uh, in crafting something else, it's gonna it's gonna be costly. And again, the unbreakable shield for the command return speed and uh, mine infusion. I want you want a plus two with a high movement speed, and ideally a level twenty dark gate because this gives you uh, dark gate gives more damage now, and that's why I don't have dark gate on my on my bar. So I'm gonna showcase a a map. I can I can kill T7 stuff, but every single thing that is on the ground is gonna kill me. Like uh, I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna step on it for half a second and I'm gonna die. And I don't I don't really like uh, dying a lot. You can see when we get the commands, when we get the command up, they will start firing two projectiles. That's a a, a nice visual indicator that that you're up there on command. What you want to do is you want to, you, you have to keep pressing the injury buffer. Kill this guy. Get like 15. Get a dream. No, I'll just, I'll just move on. This is a, this is one of the good things of going Blade Dancer is that uh, Blink is almost almost at no cooldown. And I can showcase the boss as well. Oh, got a dream one. Nice. It's the first time I see that card. I'm gonna go in with. Uh, this, which is a little bit of, of more damage. Um, I don't know why, but I've, I've, I've gotten lucky getting this pet. I've, I've, I've dropped a, bon a bunch of them even before I started playing Moto. This boss, I swear to God, this boss has more HP than Traveler. Like. You ideally want to stand still as much as you can, but this guy doesn't really let you stand still. Okay. So, uh, let me show uh, with damage pets. Of course, you can get you can get a little bit more with damage pets. As you shall, right? As you, sh as you should. So yeah, close to close to a billion. Uh, nothing, nothing to, 
Nothing too large, right? But uh, we're getting there. I should be able to to get a little bit more gear once I get Winter Origin. Once I get the uh, the Fiend Crown, I should be able to start farming heads a little bit more comfortably. I will have to probably switch into into completely going over an energy shield. That means I might go. I'll go a seal conversion and uh, get more aura effect. That'll be that'll be a decent a decent upgrade. That's where we're at. Uh, did I forget anything? So gear, passives, blades, handles, which are useless at this moment. Uh, yeah, pure trait. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you very much. If you stayed until the end of the video, let me know uh, if you have any 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 other moto text. Any uh, if you're playing this character, are you are you enjoying the season? I like the season a lot. I I, I would love to be able to do it more, uh, but I, I I really like it. Uh, so far, I've made it up to like day ten, but. They made a huge uh, balance pass today where, where they they made the exploration much cheaper to do. So uh, let me let me quickly show you that. If this ever decides to load. Hello. Any minute now. Okay, here we go. Oh, and by the way, you can buy this pet uh, with the event stuff. So buy it as soon as possible. Save two hundred. Uh, you you will you will drop these. Uh, this things commission letter. Save two hundred of them, and get this guy. So what this guy will do is. It will give you a chance to double the intel, uh, pretty much, and and it increases the chance uh, the 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 items that drop from the chest that you get every two rounds. Uh, the blue one does the same. So you want to get this as soon as possible, uh, so that you can you can get more rewards from the from the league mechanic. See, this is day four. Day three is costing. Three to explore it used to cost I think five on day three. Uh it was very steep the 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 cost increase. But uh anyway that's all I've got for this video. Let me know if you want to see uh let me know if you, uh, anything that you want to see regarding uh Torchlight. Do you want a video on the league mechanic? Do you want more videos on, on Moto? Do you want videos on any other uh mechanics of the game? Let me know and uh thank you for watching and have a great day.